Uh, well, maybe. You'll still enjoy it, though. <laughs> but first, no secret, I'm an airplane nerd. Candace is a weather nerd. Yeah. This hot shot checks off both boxes. I'm not a nerd. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Well, Why then? Not that we're okay, publicly okay. announcing it. <laughs> Our snurs yes. will just stay over here. Keep Chall going. Challenge accepted, <laughs> Hannah. <laughs> this clip's been making the rounds for about a week, um, and it's, it's, it's too cool not to share, even if you've seen it. That is from inside the cockpit of a 767 jet. That's scary looking. It does look scary, right? It looks almost like you're fake. almost going in like a... Uh, Fifth dimension, or yes. something. Yeah. Um, what was that? Uh, Final conflict was that? Remember that it was back in the eighties where the aircraft carrier went through like a time warp back to World War Two. No, that's what the effects look like. Oh. Just like that. If you're watching, help me out. You know that that movie exists. Uh, but those. You'll let your TV. It's not lightning. <laughs> Uh, that's actually, those are examples of St. Elmo's fire. That's pretty cool. And it looks like the plane's getting struck by lightning, but it's not. Like a lot of it, too. It, right. And yeah. it's now, this is looped. So the actual, the, the loop of the video, you can kind of see when it gets back to where the cockpit instruments are. Uh -huh. That's kind of where the loop ends, and it sort of starts over. It's about 20 seconds of the loop. Um, but that happens when an aircraft could kind of fly through. Well, I mean, Candace, you're the scientist, but they, they fly through the electrically charged air um, near thunderstorms, right? Yeah, usually kind of, towards the tail end of a yeah. thunderstorm, you typically tend to see it. And it's when there's like an imbalance of electrical charges in the atmosphere. And a lot of times it tends to happen on a more like pointy objects. Oh, sure. So, yeah, you know, so you see it kind of at the tail end of a, you know, thunderstorm or like on the, um, and too, sometimes on the, like the wings of planes, sometimes they'll get it or, mm -hmm. or uh, like some sort of pole, you know, where it has or like, like, a, like a the mass of a ship. Because yeah, it actually yep, yep, yep. It really goes back to, um, it's named for, the phenomenon's named after the patron saint of mm -hmm. sailors. Because they kind of thought it was good luck, like you said, yeah. because it shows up after like the, the thunderstorms kind of are gone. Line. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, similar process, chemical process actually happens inside neon lights, believe it or not. The oh. color depends on the gas used. So because our atmosphere is mostly, mostly nitrogen, nitrogen and oxygen, yeah. St. Elmo's fire is blue mm -hmm. or violet. Yep. And now maybe the John Parr song from the 80s is stuck in your head. No.